Look at these are big cows, dude. Dang. Baby cow. Look at all these cows. Fam, it's Gabe here, and today we are fishing a pretty big lake. We fished it before, caught some giant trout out of it. So that's the same objective today: get some big trout. And they also have crawdads here. Maybe we can get some crawls, trout and crawls, boil them up, eat them just like a couple videos ago. And yeah, we're gonna be doing a bobber and power bait setup. Um, we've done it a few videos ago, but hopefully we can get some trout today. If we don't get any from land, we will go on the kayak if we don't get any. So this is gonna be a, a sick adventure. Hope you guys can enjoy this one. And I'll see you guys on the shore. All right, guys, at the lake, have our bobber set out. My dad already got one. I'm going to wait out. I'm going to try to get this little indicator by the weeds. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty small. Try to grab it with this. See hook might be a fly, hopefully a fly. There we go, a little airlock indicator. I think I don't even know if that's an indicator. Need it though, so I'm taking it. Oh, that was a cold mission, man. Okay, let's untangle this mess. Oh, just a trouble hook. Are right, we getting bit? Right when I take the big camera down. I take my arm. He's on. Got him. He's not fighting very hard. Now oh, he is. Right when the time I take the big camera down. Freaking takes it, dude. I got a new piece of worm on, so that's probably also why. Decent one. No, don't run in the line. Get out of the line. Get out of the line. It's a little one. So just pop this. Out. Oh, he's hooked right in the corner. He's hooked in the bottom right now. Look at that. Pretty one. They're all silvery here. This lake. Oh, yeah, you're fine, buddy. There he goes. First cast. Did you guys see that? Little guy. Feels like a little guy. Oh yeah, it's gotta be. Alright, got him right on the lip. It'd be really good if you could just hold still for a sec. I refuse to get a hook in my finger though. It's a hold. <laughs> okay. And there you go. Well, he got on somewhere. You getting bit? Got him. Ooh. Oh, he's running the weeds. No, get out of the weeds. I got it. Ooh. Man, I'm gonna try to release this guy as quick as I can. Ooh, jeez, man. This guy is fighting me. I know. Make sure I have my pliers on me. Pretty nice one. Got him. Nice. That's a fat one. Dude, where are my players at? Somewhere here. Nice, dude. Wipe my hands more. Wish I had the net on me. Oh, shit. Chill out. Oh, jeez. He's choked, dude. There, got it out. Nice, dude. That was easy. 
unhook. I'm gonna take them out a little further out to the water. Oh yeah, he's gonna swim off. I got a little shovel hook with a nice little worm dangling off it. Still alive somehow. A little split shot and like maybe two feet up. I got my bobber. Red and white bobber. So that's what I got the last two fish on. I'm gonna put this out there. Pretty far. And just wait for a bite. Hope guys randomly just got a fish. Checking my pool. Yeah, sure enough. I know. This is a big one. Well, he probably swallowed it, dude. That's not good. This has been out there for a while. Oh, this is a big one. Oh, jeez, man. Dude, this is a huge one. Where's my net? Oh, I don't have a net, me. Dude, this guy, I didn't even know my bobber was out there. Smacked it, dude. This looks like a steelhead and a half. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. This is a massive trap. Put him in the corner of the mouth. How the heck did I do that? How am I? Hey. Oh my gosh. This is a huge trap, dude. Look at the size of that hook compared to this guy. Dude. Massive trap. I was setting up my other board, Mike. Let me check on my ball. Wow, he almost just hooked me. That was actually super close. Dude, you're gonna hook me, and I'm not gonna be happy. Okay, I got the hook out. Just grab all you want. Holy cow, this is a huge trap. Ow. Dude, calm down, man. I can't even grab him, he's so big. Oh my gosh. Three pull now. Three pull now. Just let that fish go. Another one. Feels nicer. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that action. Uh, I want. I want to wrestle this guy. I don't want to lose him. Dude, I didn't even see the bobber. It was it was gone. I, I just let that fish go. Oh, jeez, dude. Oh, he's running. It's another nice one. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh, it jumped in the net. That's a big one. That one. Might keep, might keep this one. Thanks. Oh my god. Oh yeah. The worm is doing it, bro. Got both of them. Switched over from worm to po from wor power bait to worm. Yeah, it's got hit in the side by some bird or something. Hold still, man. Yeah, I know. Oh yeah, that's a fatty dude. I'm probably gonna keep this one. I'm gonna take it chill out, chill out. You swallow it? Probably. Oh my, I can't even see. I This time I can't even see the hook. Dude, it, it's gone. Oh jeez. Oh this guy was not getting off. Oh my god, talk about gut hook, guys. Can you even see the hook? Look in there. See the hook? I know I don't. This guy can chill out. He can chill out, man. I don't even... Dude, that thing's long gone. This guy wanted that worm. I, I could try to reach in. Ah, oh, jeez, man. This dude was hungry. Because if you hold still, I could try to get it out for you. If you hold still, man. I can't... Oh, got the hook out. No way. Oh my gosh, I'm actually insane. You already was digesting that worm. Look what's left of it, dude. He was already digesting it. 
How did I get that hook out? Oh my gosh. I should be a I should be a doctor, bro. Oh my gosh. I, I, I didn't even know where the hook was. I reached all the way in his stomach. Oh jeez. And grabbed the hook out. That is a sharp fin, bro. Look at that beast. I have to keep this guy out. Thought he's gotta swim off. Yeah, hold on, let me get my skill. Alright, right, we're gonna weigh and measure this guy. Trusty scale for all my trout. Put him on, yeah, put him on the cutting board. Hold on, let me just take it out. There we go. Stretch him out. 14. 14? Yep. Dang. A big one. Alright. I'm gonna weigh him. What's your guess? I'm getting like 1.4. I'd say 0. 0.85. 0. 0.85? 0. 0.85. What? 1.19. Hold up, let me remeasure him. <laughs> Here I am. This might get a whole new way. See, I need to get a lighter scale, because now it says one pound. Okay, well, we'll see what's, what's out there. Homer. Stay still, fish. Now says he's only a pound, bro. I'm just gonna say he's like a pound, 1.1. 1. 1. All right, just flayed up this other trout I got. Nice head, and guts. We're gonna throw it in there. All right, sip it up. We are gonna walk it back out there. We have three heads and guts in there. Hopefully, he'll go after that. I'm gonna throw it out a tiny bit further. Jeez. Alright, I just pulled the trap up. Two. Two nice ones. One pretty nice one. One, like, decent sized. I think. Um, let's see if I can grab him without him grabbing me. Nice. Let go. Let go. Dude, come on, man. Let go of the freaking trap. There. He just molted. Shell is soft. That's his tail. I'm gonna drop him in the bag with the trout. In he goes. Oh, the bobber was going crazy. Got him. And towards me. Oh, jeez. Stay down, baby. Damn, I'm just standing right now. Got my other bobber. Oh, that's another nice one. That one. Oh, I'm stuck in someone's line. Oh, he's tangling someone's line. I just snapped my line. Lava and Layla. It's about 16 inches, I think. Ready to let him go? Checking trap number two. Let's see if we got more than last time. Last time we had one, so it's not a tough number to beat.
Oh, zero. All right, looks like we gotta go further down. No selfie stick. Okay, so pulled in the traps. Trap, singular, but we pulled it in multiple times. This time, we got three. Two down there, okay size. Good size one right there. Again, just trout heads and guts, man, I tell you. Nothing like the fresh, real thing seemed to work pretty good out here. Uh, cat food, anchovies, that has worked before, but, um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to flip, uh, this around here. We're going to pull in the cross. I think we got six or seven. We'll get started. Throw it back out. Maybe we'll get a couple more before we get boiling with those guys, but otherwise, we're going to get the trout going. I know Gabe's going to be hungry. Thought he had one for a second there. Had to take another look. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to get going on the fish, and we'll see you when we're cooking. Yeah, All right. Yep. I think we're gonna fillet these guys. All right, flying trout, guys. You heard that? Yeah. So instead of cooking them whole, I think we're just gonna go the fillet route. It'll be less Bonus. bones. Yeah. Nice. Wow, real pink though. Look at that. That is pink. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the kitchen. So, filleted up two of the trout. As you can see, what's interesting is one of them is uh, really kind of pinkish orange. The other one's more of a little bit lighter pink. And I know myself and a few other people, we've asked before different forms and stuff and said, hey, why is that? Is it is something wrong with one? Is one better than the other? But the consensus seems to be that it's just their diet. You know, depending on what they're eating, sometimes it turns a little bit more pinkish. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit more orange. So it just kind of depends. So seasoning. We're going to use some more of the Burn Pit Barbecue seasoning. In this case, this is the all-purpose garlic seasoning. In the last video we had, uh, we used some of their, uh, was it Ground and Pound, I think it was called. So it's kind of like their, their go-to for everything. This one's a little bit more specific to the garlic. So I think that'd be great with our trout, so I'm going to give that a little bit of a go. And then we're going to sprinkle on just a little bit of Ace's First Cast seasoning. And we'll flip them again. And again, they're a little bit, as you can see, mushed and mashed, these fillets, but that's because I decided to take my time and go through and make sure that they're boneless. So I was very careful, plucked everything out. So hopefully Gabe and I, we get to enjoy some boneless fillets. A little bit of the chopped onions. In with the fish, melting the butter, and off we go. All right, now we're cooking. guys we're boiling up some water I already put in some zatarans and now a little bit of old bay seasoning a little bit more of the aces seasoning also into that mix there we go put the lid on while it continues to boil once that's boiling we'll add the craws and we'll get them going then about 10 minutes after that then they're done guys, about that time, water starting to boil, we start dropping our craws in, alright everyone, craws are done, So I'm just going to warm up the trout that we cooked earlier and put these guys off to the side here on our Shoreline Heroes cutting board. So we'll just heat up the trout a little bit real quick and then we're ready to eat. Go. Cool. Alright guys, so we got the crawdads here. Three, one, they're nice and red and we got the trout nice and crispy there. But before we eat, we gotta say our prayer. Okay. Gabe's been dying to dig into this, so. Get my hat back on. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. 
see if we're going to get a few pieces on here. So it should be boneless. I did my best. I tried my best. Alright. So I'm trying to start there. Try it. Mm. What's different? So it's the ground and pound seasoning. A little What's bit the brown, of... Brown barbecue sauce? Yep. And that then the uh, caramelized red onion. Hopefully you get a little bit of the sweet in there with that. Oh, that is so good. Healthy yeah. amount of butter. It's sweet. But it has like the the seasoning taste from burn pit. Oh, yeah, no, I so thought it was good. pretty good. Oh my gosh. Even like the onion, it brings it all together. This is so amazing. Look at that. Oh, that's the fish you got that was swimming not too long ago. Bobber's out. It's, it's hot in Arizona. Bone. Um, you can see it, bone or overheated. Crazy out here, bro. It's so hot. Just chugging water bottles like crazy. But hey, we're still doing it. Still got on some fish. Let's do a bobbers out, see if they can do anything. If they do a dance, see if I can get one. Fish on, guys, in the kayak, baby. <laughs> I see my line's a bit tight. Let's go. Oh, he's taking. Did he come off? No, he's still, oh, he's still on. Yeah, I thought he came off. Oh, he's taking. Oh my. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is this? This is something huge, bro. Nah, he'll take. He'll drag us. Dude, he's huge. He's huge. He's huge. Oh my God. You guys are hearing this? He's peeling drag. Dude, this guy's a. He's just peeling. He's just peeling. He's just peeling, bro. I can't do. I can't do anything. Alright, well, if you can't bring him in, I've got to paddle away. Okay, okay. I got him right here. It's right here. Oh, come on. Get in the boat. He's got him. Oh my gosh, you got him in. <laughs> no, I'm not. I know what I'm doing. Fish, oh, that was a bite. Got him. He's in front of me. Do you see that bite, bro? Do you see the bite, guys? Another big one. Oh my gosh. Dead weight, bro. Jeez. Another big one, dude. Oh my gosh. I can show you guys this. Dude, he's fighting. Let me take this off. So now you guys can see better. Oh, dude, the kayak fishing is so fun. I got the cast on video. I got everything on video now. Oh, he just jumped. Dude. It's huge, man. I had a big old piece of Yeah, no, just hook the net to the... Nice, to the kayak. and just list. It's, an, it's another big one, bro. Oh, we got tangled. No, it's a pretty big one. Okay. He's not fighting very hard. Oh, but that's a bigger one. That might be even bigger. <sighs> Another big one. I'm gonna let this. I don't even. That's the same size, dude. This is another big one. Guys, it's thunderstorming. We had to get off. But. Holy. PV and a half. Look at this guy. Alright. It's probably gonna be hard to hear me because it's really windy right now. But we're trying to find some trash. Uh, if we can't, even though it's thunderstorming and raining, uh, I'm looking for some stuff right now. Hi right, guys, we're gonna end that. It is currently stormy like crazy. It is wild out here. Um. Those trout were massive. I mean, I said in the intro, um, we came here to get ginormous trout, and well, we accomplished that. Dad's getting the crowd trap out. Uh, I'm just, I'm just amazed by those trout in the kayak too. We got the biggest trout. Oh, just look at that sunset though. Wow. Uh, okay, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, we're gonna get the heck out of here because it's storming and thundering like crazy. But I love you guys, and I'll see you guys on the shoreline.